stress right now is unreal. So we got a call for a vehicle. I think it's a Hyundai Santa Fe that is way out, way out on the Grand Parachant, like north rim of the Grand Canyon, way, way, way out there on the Arizona Strip. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can pull it out of the mud puddle that it's in. They sent us some pictures. Um, said they tried to get it out for a while and couldn't. So we're gonna see if we can. We've got the lovely Jamie with weather. Yeah, it's rainy and it's been rainy for a few days. So we've Turn been left. busy. It's been crazy. All right, so it's the weekend and it's the new year. Yeah, we partied it up at Fabrats last night. We got home at like 2 a.m. Now we're out on this recovery, so happy new year. Yeah, so we've got the we've got the new year crew here. We got Colin, Rhett, Carter, and we've just got a big old long bumpy ride ahead of us. That away. Since it's a new year, I've decided to do a new me. We brought the keys with us. <laughs> That's a good thing change for the better if you ask me we'll see how long it lasts <laughs> oh we're totally change. fueled up these ones out on the strip they're kind of one of the dangers of being out here on the Arizona strip is there is almost no cell phone coverage so when we head out here we make sure that we have people back um, we've let several people know the GPS coordinates of where we're going the route that we're taking and when to expect us back and we've got blue steel we've got the Morver that means we've got we've got to have two vehicles break down before we're completely stranded. I like those odds. Me too. It is a muddy mess out here. We knew it would be. It's been raining for a couple days. Our plan is to take blue steel in as far as it makes sense and then get in the more of air and head uh, sucked off the road there and then just headed the rest of the way in with the more of air, get in the vehicle, um, pulling it out of the mud hole, turn it around and heading back out. That's the plan. We'll see if, see if we can st stick to that plan or if we're going to have to make a new one. How is the back seat? Uh, nowhere to lay your head. Confidence spot, but I have it. It's gonna be a good day, but it's gonna be long. It is gonna be long. This is. This could easily be a ten-hour job from start to finish. We just made a right turn off of what they call Main Street. Main Street goes down to Bundyville. Now we're headed like, this is off towards like Pigeon and the, the Grand Wash, Grand Gulch Mine. We're headed that direction. I'd say we're two thirds of the way down. We're making good time, even though the conditions are terrible. We haven't had to unload the Morver yet, so they're not too terrible. All right, well, it is starting to rain a little harder. I don't know if that is gonna really affect what we're doing, but it is raining with more gusto. All right, we're getting about as far as we want to take blue steel in. There's a couple reasons for that. The conditions, the road conditions are deteriorating and we're getting close to about half a tank of fuel. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> we, might we might be getting stuck right here. Yep. Oh man, just as I said that, we are in trouble. Yeah, we should have stopped before now. We always do this, don't we? Maybe. Wait till it's too late. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of move forward slowly. <laughs> That's all you can do. <laughs> and try to find a better place to turn around. Okay, we are definitely looking for a place to pull over. I think it's gonna be really oh, soft. Man. Oh my goodness, we're in trouble. We'll get blue still with everything. Oh my. Get some... I don't know if we can go through this. You we got should. it. Go for it. Send it. Oh, yeah. got it. I don't think we should. I think we got it. We're gonna be stuck right in the middle of it. 
going on. The gas, the gas. He's hitting the gas. We're gonna be stuck right in the middle of it. I told you. Okay, we're unloading. Now you're getting in mud that's clear up here. Oh no. Mud is the worst. We interrupt this rescue for an announcement. So when I was coming up with this concept a year ago, I was just thinking we were gonna have some fun with some of my friends. I knew that Paul was gonna be redoing his record. I'm like, yeah, we should do something with the records. And I'm like, yeah, we should do some trials with them and uh, just kind of post it. So it was gonna be really small, but it has kind of snowballed since then. I didn't think people would be this interested in seeing what's going on, but Turns out there's a lot of interest for it. So we're putting this thing together. I'm gonna to be sending out these golden tickets Wonka style. Crazy. Do you know what that even means? No. <laughs> well, let me show you. Uh, okay. I've got some cooking to do. I got my own Loompas here to help me. We need some gas. We're out of gas. Well, that's natural. Oh look, it's done. I want you to send this to Paul at Fab Rats. I would like you to send this to Eric at BSF. I would like you to send this to Rory, Trail Mater. And uh, this one, I would like you to send to Merlin's Old School Garage. So don't forget that the Off-Road Record Games are March 9th, 10th, and 11th. And you can find out more information at mattsoffroadadventures.com. I've just been informed by this guy Right here. There's been an overwhelming response already. The tickets are, are moving really quickly. So you just pre-register at Sand Hollow on the 8th and you'll avoid all the lines on the 9th. We're gonna get these tickets sent out and then we're gonna get back to work on the record because it's gotta run for the games. Back to you, recovery team. We're gonna see if getting the weight of the more bear off this is enough and this will start moving again. You gotta stay out of the borrow pit. What's he calling the borrow pit? That and that? Yeah. How am I doing? She's doing good. This is real tricky down here. You have to let it walk sideways, just let it walk sideways. So we just barely pulled over, we're all loading into the Morver, and it is starting to come down really good, the snow is. I prefer it more than rain. So we're gonna turn the truck around right here, and load in the Morver and continue on. All right, we are loaded up in the Morver. Packed, okay. packed in the Morver. They're packed in there. We've got 26 miles to get to the vehicle. It's currently snowing. It's really wet snow that's basically melting right when it hits the ground. It's gonna be a rough night if we have to spend it in here. Well, that'll be this road's pretty slick. It doesn't look slick, but we're having to put some effort in to keep things straight here. sideways right there. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get this little car out of here. It's a Hyundai Santa Fe. It's all wheel drive, but... No lift, no tires. Yeah, it's stock. It's so boring back here because all we have is mud and we can barely, we see a little tiny bit out the front if we're looking, but it's really boring back here. It's really comfortable back here too. It's just been a long day. <laughs> This is not fun. We keep going through the Hazard County car wash. Things are a little bit better. The road conditions have improved a little bit. They're still slick, but it's not like 
nasty, nasty mud. Look at this though. Oh my. <laughs> Woohoo! A whole bunch in. of water just came in. These old cars don't have the best weather sealing around the door. And <laughs> I am so. This is. This car is no exception. So we're less than 10 miles from the vehicle. I'm starting to feel a little bit better about getting it out because it was bad there for a while, but we know that it's just a short, you know, it's about 10 miles of really bad. It'll drive on this just fine. We haven't shifted into four wheel drive yet. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic about that car, but I've been wrong before. We're gaining a little bit of elevation here and the snow has been sticking. Still a mess underneath the snow though. We usually don't say too much about like where vehicles are stuck and how they got there. But I'm going to go on record here and say this car should absolutely not be out here. We're a, we're a hundred miles from civilization. Like there's nothing for a hundred miles. And it's out here in some of the worst, worst road conditions that there is in the area. I mean, there's worse trails than this, but these are roads and they're in bad shape. We've got a lot of questions over the years about running into wildlife and, and mule deer in particular. And we see them all the time when we're out here, but we never show them because the camera is so bad at picking them up. So those are only, what, 40, 50 yards? Yeah, that. So we could see them really easily, but the GoPro, the way that it films, it just doesn't pick them up. So the customer told me that sometime in the middle of this, they started getting some uh, lights on for like, I don't know, stability and traction control and different like things. So what it looks like happened is they've wadded their cables up. They've got some straps around that one, like around the whole A-arm. Okay, Colin, I need you to turn your wheel driver. Yeah, okay, we should just pull right off of this strap. All right, we're gonna use the winch this time because I don't know what's going on with all the stuff wrapped around the wheels. We kinda wanna do this slow. We gotta look and see what we've got to connect to here. Nothing, just mud. I don't know what to do here. What about just a bump? But there, I'm, I don't know what to hook to. Oh, is there nothing to hook to? There's nothing to hook to. Huh. <laughs> Look at the chunks of mud in there. This is some super gummy mud. This is all packed up in here, like just solid. Okay. Pull it in, Jamie. All right, stop. You're actually moved a tiny bit on this one. Pivoting. Well, pivoting's good because that'll put the sidewalls into things. I'm gonna have to see if I can get in it and drive and drive it. See if I can get a little more traction than just than just park. All right, Colin, put it in drive, and I'm going to want you to kind of saw your wheels back and forth hunting for traction. Stop, stop, stop. 
right. We got that out of there. Yeah, we're gonna have to take those off. All right. These are going in the back of the Hyundai. Oh, hey, looks like we have some extra stuff. Oh, hey, is that gasoline? Yeah. Ooh, we got water. They got a lot of snacks in there too. We gotta take all of these off. Oh, we are gonna take all of them off? Yes. Ow! He attacked me. Okay, put those in there. I'm gonna go put my winch up. Uh, no, you install down to tight. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Outrageous. I'm not sure how you work these chains, Dad. I've never put chains on or taken them off. Oh. These are not very heavy duty chains. No. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this to where you're gonna have to just slowly crawl forward. So go ahead and slowly crawl forward. Drive, 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 drive. drive. Stop. Still right <laughs> I have like eight check engine lights. One of them says we got a head on or. Rear-ended somebody. The front end it says. Yeah, they were high centered on that. Uh, is this one right here? We just drug them. Taking a little slush bath here. We gotta get out of here. Off we go. Look at you. You're a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. You're a mess. Okay, here we go. I want you to kind of feel how the vehicle's responding so that we know when to hook it up before we're in the middle of a big puddle. Do you hear that noise? Yeah. Just drive for a second. Okay, got it. Why if it not? makes sense, straddle the, the ruts. For what this vehicle is, it seems to be doing pretty good. We haven't made it to the bad spots yet. Like I said, it's doing pretty good. All right, so the customer said that they, everything was fine it, until they a weird noise. took this wheel off. Looks like they've got it on. Where's the weird noise at? Somewhere in the front end, it's like a bumping sound. It's the back right. <laughs> <laughs> Rhett says he, it sounds like the back right. Colin says it's in the front. <laughs> Nothing so what lights are on here? Nothing right Oh, they've all turned off. All right, let's get back after it. You're gonna have to get really fast through that water. Oh, we made it. Oh. We made it, barely, but we made it. We got the river crossing here. The stress right now is unreal. I feel bad for whoever has to clean the more bear and the blue steel because it's dirty inside and out. It's bad. I actually feel bad for whoever has to do all this laundry also. Who's that? Because it's bad. Acting like it was empty. No, the I snow is covered. The snow is what was covering it. Okay, run it really quick. Let's see. Okay, run again. Okay, stop. Okay, now run it again. 
Stop. Okay, it's working. All right, so it wasn't that a washer fluid, it was just a little bit low, so we added what? Two, three pints of water? The Morvera doesn't have the luxury of a windshield washer yet because we've never finished it. But we keep going through these Hazard County car washes and that's working for us. So I can hear my fan surging. It's a mechanical fan, it's got a clutch on it. The clutch is engaging and disengaging at a random rhythmic situation so we can add that to our list of I'm things worried. we need to look at on the more bear. I think we're pretty much out of the snow and back to just straight old rain and, and water. Lost that little bit of elevation. Oh. These are so awesome to go through. So the linkage for the windshield wipers is squeaking. They're little heim joints, so I just need to spray something on there. Alternator's going bad and squealing the belt. We're about an hour into our return trip. We're thinking when we get back to the truck, we're gonna hook the Morvair up to the car to pull it up that mud hill. Anyway, we're thinking Blue Steel will drive up through there with nothing on the trailer. So that's our game plan. We'll see how it pans out. All right, we finally made it back to the truck. Everything is so far so good. All right, we're gonna put mom in the truck and then I'm gonna go ahead of you and then we'll just stop and hook up when we get close to the mud pit. All right, so this mud pit or the mud hill, whatever you wanna call it, it's pretty bad. And I'm just worried about this car getting high centered, kind of like it did where it was stuck. So we're just doing a little preemptive. All right. This is a pretty good pull. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This car should not be out here. I know it's an all wheel drive, but it should not be here. Did we already pass the mud spot? <laughs> Couldn't even tell, could you? Did we? Yeah, you went through it easy peasy, huh? I, did you get through it okay? Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Well then, there's no reason to hook up anymore. Let's load up. Well, I'm not too happy about what just happened. I don't think we can climb out of here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but we fell into a ditch. Are you kidding me? If that sign wasn't there, we would have made it. Hold the wheel straight and then turn up. Turn. Uh oh. No, we're good. You're good. Oh. Dang it! You had that. Do that car can pull you out? Car, is there no. a hitch on the back of that thing? Nope. We're Nothing. holding the stinking more bear. Wow. I thought we were done. I thought we were done too. Now that we got that done, we're gonna load back up and try it again. All right, we just reached out to the customer, told them where to meet us so we could hand them their vehicle and send them on their way. And we can uh, get home sometime before midnight. That would be great. I don't know if your wife's gonna let you 
you in the house in the condition that you're in. You think I'm too muddy? Just a little bit. Oh, we are on, uh, our low fuel warning came on. So my strategy worked to drive out there with a half a tank and then turn around and drive back. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. No, oh I'm yeah. Never, uh, totally fine. You got it. Okay, so the, how's the how's the road inside there? Was that totally terrible. It's terrible. terrible. Yeah. I, is there snow inside? Yep. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Who's next? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. okay. Well, that was that. That was a long old, long old trip out there and back. We burnt half a tank of fuel in the Morver and an entire tank of fuel in blue steel. We got them out of there and on their way, and they're super happy about that. And I'm just relieved to have that done. It's been a long day. We got them out. Super muddy, but super fun. We're tired, but we, we got it done. Colin did an awesome job driving. I thought we were going to have problems driving out, but none. All my boys are super good drivers. We, we started them really young. Hello, this is Matt. All right, we'll be right there. We're back in the mud. So we got a call for three vehicles that are stuck out by Big Water, and we've got to put an alternator in the Morver first. Why we didn't get this in the first place, I don't know, but we had to go get it. So the belt goes on just like this. All right. The alternators have a hard life in these vehicles because we winch all the time. So we can leave the vehicle off and winch, and that's a little better for the alternator, or we can turn it on and winch, and that's better for the winch. It's a hard choice to make. We're cooking alternators, so I think we're gonna quit winching with them running. All right, well, we got that on there. It's working great, and we are on the road. We've got the lovely Jamie with us with the weather. Um, it's like 30 degrees, and I bet you it stays about that gonna be muddy. I just put the same muddy pants and muddy boots back on from yesterday. It's been a muddy couple days. Been a long time since I've been out to Lake Powell so I'm excited to go check it out. He doesn't know that he's not even gonna see it. What? <laughs> no? We got a couple more hours of driving. It is past lunchtime. We're gonna grab a quick bite in Kanab and then continue on. All right, we're gonna stop here and grab some lunch really fast and then we're back on the road. Now we're just gonna wait for our food. It was so good we forgot to film it. And everyone's done but me. And it's gone. Thank you, it was delicious. All right, we just gotta get back on the road again. Sing it. On, on the, the road, road again. again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Right, we just turned off the highway here at Big Water and we are on the road now. They are down this particular road. So our plan is to go as far as is prudent before we get into any of this blue clay. Hopefully it's dried out. It looks like they haven't had any rain here like today. So it might, the conditions may be a lot better than I've been imagining them all day. We'll find out soon enough. But I'm not planning on putting blue steel in any of it. What do you know about blue clay? Nothing, never heard of it before. Okay. Right out of the river, huh? All right, these are fender extenders. We're gonna try them out. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. 
Yeah, yeah no, no, no it's really bad. Bad. it is what it is, like I said. We'll just, we'll just load up. Well, that was a long way to drive to come and get skunks, but that's what happens. I'm glad he got out and he's safe. Seems like we were just doing this. Yes, <laughs> not long ago. And that's how it happens. We got skunked. I'm not gonna blame the customer at all for this. They wanna get out just as bad as we, or worse than we wanna get them out. So they worked on it while they waited for us. This was a lot of distance to travel. So we uh, took the opportunity to clean some of the mud off the trailer from the previous job. And we're gonna turn around and head back home. It's about, gonna be about 10 hours round trip, but it happens. We got an Alice Burger out of the deal. Yeah, we did. Is the lake gone? Yes, yeah. the lake's gone. There's not much left. Not actually. there anymore? You're not going to see it where you're at. You're, we're still going to be 40 miles from the actual liquid. All right. We'd have our toes in the water so, if it was 10 years ago. 